Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg, and I'm back with a demo of an app. This time I want to look at the Apple Store app, which was released today, June 15th, 2010. This also happens to be the day that the iPhone 4 went up for pre-order. Let's go ahead and take a tour of the app. It is for the iPhone, um, but I'm using it on the iPad. Currently, there is no version for the iPad. Of course, you could just go to Apple.com on the iPad and get the full experience. But on the iPhone, an app is a better way of interacting with the Apple Store. Now, the first thing you see is the Features page, and iPhone 4, of course, is the item at the top of the page. Second is the new Mac Mini, which was also revealed today. iPad, the new MacBook Pros iPod Touch, and etc. You can just scroll down. When we go to Stores, we're asked, would you like to use your current location? And that's just so that Apple can tell you what stores are nearby. So I'm going to click OK. There are my four closest stores, Somerset being the closest, at 8.5 miles away in Troy. And if I click here, I can see some information. I can see Map and Hours. If I click on the address, it should take me to a map. I can also, if I were on the iPhone, I could just tap this number and dial. So we can see local events, and we can see reservations. So if I want to make an iPhone reservation, I can go ahead and do so. Let's take a look at search. All we have to do is type in an Apple product. So let's type in Apple TV. There's the Apple TV. Now if you go to products, you get a listing of the group of products that Apple sells. iPhone, iPad, Mac, and iPod. Now let's go to Mac. Under Mac we see the categories of Macs they sell, MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, Mac Pro, and iMac. And of course the Mac accessories, the software. Now let's go to the new Mac Mini. Now we get two options here. We have the standard Mac Mini and then we have the server version of the Mac Mini. Now let's pick the standard Mac Mini with the Super Drive. So from here we can see the basic stats and the price. We can also go to Photo Gallery. We can also zoom up. Let's go back to the back of this Mac Mini and take a look. Of course, there's the Mac Mini with the cinema display. There's the server Mac Mini. And there we go, that's all. Let's go to Features, so we see some of the content you would see on their website for the Mac Mini. Let's go back, Tech Specs, so we see all the detailed information, what's in the box, and if we click the price, we can go to add this to the cart. We have some other choices we can add to the cart. If we want to add the three-year Apple Care protection plan, we can do that. We can also select to see a description of this product. Now if we go to our cart, we see our cart has a 1 next to it. And we see the Mac Mini. So my cart subtotal is $6.99 right now. We can go to checkout, type in my Apple ID, and of course we see my subtotal and I'm going to block my private information. But I can go ahead and place the order if I want, I'm not going to do that right now. And I'll tell you why I don't want to do it this way. Now you can also delete this order. So let's go ahead and just swipe across and delete. So now my card is empty. Now unfortunately the reason I don't want to purchase the Mac Mini through this app is because it doesn't allow me to use my educator's discount. And it doesn't allow me to do a custom build. So unfortunately uh, the app is too limited for my needs. And I had originally planned to show you how to order a Mac Mini using this app. But instead, I'm going to have to go to a regular Mac and do it that way. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a demo and review of the Apple Store app for the iOS. Thanks for watching.